What's up, YouTube? This is the Billy Bob HD bringing you a brand new series. This is EU4 Cradle of Civilization DLC. We're going to be starting a new campaign as Brabant here. And uh, I know the DLC is mainly surrounding a lot of the Middle Eastern countries and such, but uh, a lot of the new mechanics and everything are still going to apply to all countries. And so I did want to start a new series, and this is one I've been wanting to do. So let's get it going here. I've been setting up a couple of things. Uh, I've got three lights right now that I've assigned out to the English Channel Trade Node. You can see we start out with 13% trade power here. Holland and England having the majority there right now. Um, we're currently under, as a vassal, or a junior partner rather, uh, from Burgundy. And so I was looking around and we need to ask, I think I'm going to ask France right off the bat here to support my independence, right? Because we're going to want to get independence from Burgundy and try to build up the empire, the future empire. So uh, let's see, I've got a level two fort here, level two fort here. I've turned off the fort maintenance for now. Before we kick, hit go, we're making some decent cash here right off the bat. You can see the new army professionalism traits or um, slider here that's uh, going to be showing you when you hit 20%, you get salaried soldiers, may build supply depots, you can uh, train up to regimental mustering, may refill the garrison, 60% uh, regain manpower when disbanding. And then over here, permanent army, uh, general cost minus 50%, professional army, what is this? Reduced morale damage taken by reserves, and then uh, army drill gain modifier. So that's one of the new mod um, features here of the DLC is when you take casualties it sort of and you get fresh manpower into your stack it sort of moves down your little army drill bar here which uh affects your um professionalism morale is currently 2.58 out of a maximum there we recover 21.5 percent of its maximum morale each month base plus 15 percent control provinces plus five percent army tradition plus 1.5% there. You can see we've got some new options over here. Uh, we do need to hire a leader actually in order to be able to drill the military. So let's put in this guy, he's a level one. He's a star one here. We've got 16 in Liberty Desire right now. Uh, negative Prestige. Manpower is kind of meh to start out with. We need to fill up the stack. We've got a total space of nine. So let's put in some additional infantries here and let's get it going kicking it off okay good so France right off the bat accepts my independence claim there we need to build a spy network here in Burgundy because I'm gonna want to declare independence and bring France into the war as soon as possible let's hit it to speed four here to get it going nice all right, let's take another look and see if there's any other independent supporters that I would have. Aragon. Ah, Aragon just fell to a zero and a three. All right, we'll get that in. Okay, they've accepted the call to independence there. As well as England. So let's put that in. Perfect. Okay, new Duke. And let's see what his stats look like. A four, three, four. He's 19 years old, so that's pretty good here. I'm liking that. We've got to pick some rivals, and I want to make sure... I'm thinking the plan is going to be to have France as a fellow ally. So who uh, is France rivaled with? England, Burgundy, Austria. So we've got to pick... Let's see. I'm going to take Burgundy as one, obviously. We're going to take Aachen as another one which is right over here to my border in the east. And then Liege is going to be my third one because I'm going to want to take this territory if I can. So we've got to now set up some embargoes. Economy issue embargo for you. Hmm. Oh, by making... Uh, okay. So by making um, Burgundy a rival... I've lost the Casus Belli for the independence, but we're going to get some claims going here. So we can actually take some territory off of them as well. 
which I think is going to end up being more fruitful for us in the long run. So, uh, okay, no diplomats to send. Okay, we'll send one here. And then uh, my last guy was... Did we do the Burgundy embargo? Yes, we did Liege. Oh, we still have a truce, so I can't embargo them right now. Okay. So, Spy Network's up to almost... It's over 11 now, which is good. Still making some good money with my troops being totally... Um, Oh, I can take alliances? Hold on a second. Aha! We are no longer a junior partner of Burgundy. Sweet, so we're independent right off the bat. So now we need to look at... So that's why we lost the supported uh, the independence war, Cassus Belli there. So now I'm looking to probably... Go to France. We're going to say we want to be friendly with you. We're going to also go to them and say, hey, we want to improve relations here. And we're going to be shooting for a royal marriage here at some point. Yeah, we're getting pretty close to that. So Utrecht asking for an alliance right off the bat. I'm not sure I really want to entertain that here for the time being. Going to be getting really close here on the uh, Royal Marriage stuff. Add a size 25 to Spy Network in Burgundy. I'll take the diplomatic power for now. Let's also, uh, okay, fabricate the claims here. We're getting closer to that 20 mark. Okay, stop relationship improvement for the time being. Grab your Royal Marriage. Excellent. Okay, the alliance is now sort of set up. Come on, come on, come on. Perfect. All right, France is a military alliance with us. Scotland, Provence, Savoy, Brabant. So where is Provence here? They're at a plus 25. Let's see if we can get an alliance with them. Or wait, are they um, a junior partner? No, they have a junior partner of Lorraine themselves. Ways away from a royal marriage? Well, we can maybe steal off a little bit of a alliance there. Uh, let's go ahead here and fabricate claim on Namur. Perfect. We're going to leave him there for now. Five prestige, I'll take you. Making very little prestige per year right now. Good amounts of money, though. And I do have a really good starting monarch point position, 767, seven, here. So saving up some cash to build some uh, churches here eventually, get that cash flow even greater if we can. Junior partner of Burgundy here for Flanders. Holland, same deal there. Liege is only allied with Brunswick. Improved relations plus 25. We're only at a negative 16 here for the alliance with them. Oh, cool. I get a, a claim on Ghent. We'll lose one stability. I'll take the claim. What, that's a no brainer. Jeez. There's still a junior partner of Burgundy there, so uh, let's go ahead. Provinces of interest, right? Let's go ahead and. Label those. Need baby making to occur. Do it, guys. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Make those babies. We do have a consort, 29. She's older than me. Always into those mature women, you know what I'm saying? All right, 767 seven here. Only gaining 117 a month here for manpower. Three point five in ducats. Oh no, the queen dies. That's not good. So we're gonna have to go elsewhere for another royal marriage. I'm thinking. Um, still at a negative eleven here for Provence. Still really good relations with France here for the moment. Oh, and the, of course they're gonna call me into a war here to begin with. 
I wanted to train my troops before actually having to go fight. Okay, war against England. Allied with Tyrone, Sligo, and Portugal. We're going to have to accept to maintain the alliance. Maybe we can go help, I don't know. No, can't get over there. Don't have the military access stuff, so we're going to stay put. In fact, I'm not even going to train during the war in case somebody invades me through the coast here. So we're going to move the army. We've got a little bit of a coastline. We're going to go sit on that fort. Friesland wanting a alliance right now. I'm going to say no to that. Oldenburg, Munster, Utrecht. I'm going to try to get into the same sort of faction. Oh, I think we lost our light ships there. I'm going to try to get into the same sort of faction with France here. That means uh, Savoy is the other option for alliance. Okay, we've got uh, fat claims that are probably ready to go here. Hanut. Okay, we'll take that and then stop building my network, of course. Uh, province of interest. Hanut there. Very good. So that gives me a whatchamadoodle back. A diplomat. We're sitting at a negative six there. So I want to get the alliance with Provence next. And then we'll swing around and grab one or try to grab one with Savoy as well. Okay, Burgundy only having 1,000 men up here in the north. They are aligned to Brittany and Baden. Interesting. Now we're only making 2.31. It's, you know, the forts are back up and such. Spy Network trying to come in from Burgundy here as well. Can we get the alliance yet? Oh, a negative three. We're getting so close. Oh, I can go up to 12. Let's get that. Since we got our independence, we, need, we want a full 12 stack. Um, missionary strength, okay. Local unrest, minus two. Local goods produced. Burgundy's, okay, yeah, we don't care about Burgundy. We have a new heir, Maria. She shall be called Maria, 421. Okay, we'll take that. War of the Roses. Twelve stack now. Yes. Okay. Good. That's definitely going to help us when I. Oh, look at this three-star general for France over here, sitting in Burgundy. Nice for them. Offer the alliance here with Provence. Got him. Okay, let's stop the improvement there, and then let's go down here to Savoy. You're going to be next. Oh yeah, we're going to be able to get a a marriage and an alliance going here for sure. So my navy was completely decimated there, which sucks. We could spend some money to build some more light ships. Let's try that. Three of you there. Awesome. Still rebuilding some manpower too. Should be getting close. Let's see. We don't have the institutions penalty yet. France is doing well at eating up these areas. Moonster. Yeah, decline. Um, we're going to have, let's see, level 4 techs coming through here very soon. Austria is already at a diplo level 4. We should be getting to a military and an admin level 4 first. Yeah, ports being blockaded right now. Understood. From the English Navy. That's problematic. Five heavies, twelve lights, fourteen transports. So they can get, they can actually fit a fourteen stack on that guy, which would be that would be a tough fight because I'd be defending in a castle while they try to sort of roll up on land. Truce with Burgundy is over now. Baden and Brittany would both join in, and then all of their junior partners. 
Okay, Scotland has accepted peace with England there. Uh, Scotland losing some territory, I'm guessing. I'm hoping they fixed... Um, I'm hoping that they fixed the problems with England from last DLC. Because that was pretty rough. Alright, tech time. Here we go. We now build churches. Which we're going to go ahead and put one in here immediately. Uh, we're going to take the most profitable one, obviously. Can give us another quarter ducat in income. All right, back to Savoy and the project there. Let's get the royal marriage. Excellent. Consort Maria von Berg. Potential lesbian relationship there. I'm not even sure. I'm not 100% sure. All right, uh, military up there. Military tactics. Plus a quarter. Uh, the Renaissance pops off now. Good deal. Costly trade embargoes. So, uh, yeah, some of the rivalry stuff has changed. So we're going to revo revoke you. And then... Aachen. Okay, good. So now that gives me al our, uh, rivals of who... Just Liege and Burgundy for now. Will Savoy take the um, alliance? Yes, they will. Perfect. Okay. Scotland is the other one. Um, I'm not 100% sure we need to ally Scotland because it's going to be really hard for me to get this 12 stack over through the English Channel, battle the English fleet, and try to do that. Yikes. Yeah, and since we're being blockaded, that's actually paused the uh, ship construction a bit there. But we'll still keep collecting our income. May have to wait a bit for Savoy Provence and France to join us in this. Holland will aid them as well. So then, um, very good. We've got the alliance with Savoy. Let's stop the relationship improvement here. And then I'm going to assign one of my diplomats to ally. There we go. Perfect. So we've got a solid little alliance set up. Alliance network set up. We're going to also start building spy network out here. Oh, can't can't do it because of the overlord positioning there. What about Liege? Brunswick would join in. They're over here. We could rush in and sort of take out the army. Let's uh, go ahead and army drill. Lose 10 prestige. Or lose 5 loyalty and get some national unrest. I'm going to take the unrest here for now. We've got a positive war score here. I'm the only one that's uh, fully... <laughs> Fully blockaded right now. Go fig. There's our guys sort of exercising it out. Reminds me of the, the Hoi 4 mechanic there for exercise divisions. Yeah, currently drilling. We're at a 2.49 army drill overall. Professionalism. We're going to start heading up towards salaried soldiers. Lose 25 admin. We'll get some more unrest and autonomy hit. Let's take the admin hit for now. And then... Okay, sitting in a 10% behind schedule here. Or ahead of schedule, rather. I was going to try to invest in some development here right off the bat. Nobility estate loses 10 loyalty. Oh, I get some prestige. Let's do this one. While we continue to exercise, and then we'll, uh, once we get uh, closer to that 20% mark for professionalism, I'm thinking that's when we will go ahead and attack Liege there. Try to take Loon for ourselves in the middle here. Aachen. Austria is going to help them if needed. Hmm. So I've got a free diplomat. 
Could we try to fabricate over here in Cleves? Aachen, Bremen, Hess. Brunswick. We should still have the Cassis Belly. Yes, we do. Looks like it does not burn manpower when you're exercising your troops, so that's the good news. That is good news there. Okay. There's my navy. My new navy. Let's build a couple more ships to put into that. Because again, we're going to try to protect trade here in the English Channel at all costs. Okay. We've got peace. And we earned a favor from France as well. New rival. Let's see. I want it to be Cleves, actually. So we'll do that. Excellent. Yeah, and then we need to embargo you guys. Da -da 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 -da. Embargo. Yep, and then... Embargo, wait a second. Are they a rival of mine? Yes, they are. We're going to embargo Burgundy, of course. Okay, good. They've got their full 16 stacks sitting up here now. Royal Marriage from Provence, finally. Very good. Alright, so. How's that professionalism looking? 2.81. So this is taking a, quite a bit to drill the troops. I'm getting land hungry. 19.15 there. Oh, nice. Military power. Let's turn off the drilling for now because the time is ripe to go in on Liege here. We've got to wait for the stack to regenerate. Brunswick. It's got three provinces. It cannot have more troops than I do. I'm at full manpower. If we rush in, take, uh, start sieging here, we can try to take over the whole country here sort of at once, which would be good. Oh no, the general's dead. Shoot. Okay, so. Oh nice, a two star to come in now. That's fantastic. And then we've drilled our troops a tiny bit. 18% drilling. Okay, he's actually ready to go here. Let's uh let's kick off the war. And I'm actually gonna leave this on a cliffhanger with you guys. So just wanted to say thanks for watching. Again, this has been the Billy Bob HD. Please remember to like, subscribe, and or comment if you've enjoyed this content, and I'll catch you guys next time.